Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. In case this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So this video, I hope it will be a very short one because uh, we've done the bulk part of it in the previous video where we made the configuration for the Android config file. So for the iOS, we're just going to copy everything inside the Android and we'll make the modification where necessary. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So, um, this is the Android, so I'm going to copy everything and I'm going to open the iOS here. I'm going to paste it here and I will scroll to the configuration part and change the configuration. That's all that we need to do. So for my demo, the platform name, of course, it has to change to iOS and uh, the platform version, I will probably be using the latest one, latest OS available can use then one that you have and uh, the automation name remains Flutter integration of course so I'm just going to add a new command here some things are not necessary for this so I'll just say for if you want to see resets reset equals or say false now then the device name is important here so I'm going to copy and paste this so I'm changing this to device name device name and it will be the name of the simulator that you want to use um i hope there is an iphone 16 there so use an iphone 16 pro right let me check let's see if we have an iphone 16 oh yes we have an iphone 16 pro and that's an 18.0 so i will change this here to an 18.0 it won't even matter because when it wants to launch it to get the necessary os that it needs so i will not need the orientation all i just need i don't need the server timeout either well do i no we can work without it since we already made it for android we can just copy and paste it if we need it there so for the ios what we just need to do is get here in our build we have um, iOS and we have iPhone simulator. So we just need to come here and copy the relative path and use it to replace what is here. Yep. And with that, we have edit edited iOS successfully. And that brings us to the end of the video. So, in the next video, we'll start the fun stuff. We would edit our test um, folder. Remember that we've already introduced the page object pattern, design pattern, by uh, during the time that we were setting up the config with WebDriver. It asked us if we wanted it, and we have taken it. So we are just going to we are not going to create an extra file. We will pick one of those files that have been created as a default. We would edit it because we don't need it there. We are not using anything on it, so we are just going to edit that and we'll work with it so it can be faster. Thank you for getting this far. Do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.